Welcome viewers, Zach here and welcome to the full beginner guide to Project Apex. So here we are on the game right now and as you can see we've got some very nice looking UI. So you want to start off at the dealership. The dealership is where you are able to buy all the cars that you can drive in game. These cars cannot be bought on track and must be bought at the dealer. You will be presented with these choices of cars. You've got 2023, 2021, 2016, 2010, 2007, 2003, and 1992. And the Arrow car. Out of these cars, the 2016 and Arrow car cost Robux, but the rest of the cars can be bought with in-game currency like this over here i have seven million pounds to buy a car all you have to do is press select but for 2023 you can choose from all of these liveries over there most of them are inspired by the real life liveries so as a new player you're not going to have a lot of money you're going to start with around a million pounds so the choices of cars you have is the outen car the cross car and the Evans car, which is basically the Williams car. So to upgrade the car, all you have to do is click upgrade over here. And then you have these three menus. You can upgrade the aerodynamics of the car, the engine of the car, and the chassis of the car. To purchase an upgrade, all you have to do is press arrow and then choose one of these options over there. For example, you can upgrade the strakes of the car. Obviously, I've already bought this update, but it will cost you 50,000 pounds. Each upgrade have their own prices, some are more expensive and some are cheaper. Another thing to note is that for some cars, there is an option for an advanced upgrade. So you've got the first stage of the upgrade and the second stage of the upgrade. This only applies to some upgrades and some of the cars. You also have the option to sell a car if you don't want it. To sell your car, you just press sell over here. Please know that when you sell your car, you will only receive 40% of how much you bought the car for. So before you buy a car, make sure you are careful. For the other generations of cars, as soon as you buy the car itself, you own all the liveries. Now that you've taken a look at the dealership, you've got two options. You can either race or practice. Race mode will take you to an online lobby where you'll be racing with other players. Practice mode is a little different. When you click practice, you'll be able to choose one of the many beautiful tracks that Project Apex has to offer. So for this example, I'll be choosing the track I recommend the most as a beginner, and that is Hockenheim. Okay, and as soon as you load in, you will see this menu over here. You'll be able to see your stats over here, which is total laps, corner cuts, race wins, well, race starts, race wins, and your money amount. This money amount can also be viewed over here. Spectate is when you can watch other drivers race through this menu over here. So we can see this driver going up through this corner over here before the chicane. And then you have camera settings. Camera settings is one of the game's latest update where you can mess around with the FOV and uh, some settings over here to personalize your viewing experience while you're racing. Then we have settings. So settings allow you to map your buttons and stuff like that. So obviously you've got the defaults over here, but, it, but if you have a different controller or you or if you use a keyboard and there is something you prefer using, you can set it all over here. And then obviously this main menu button will take you back to the menu we were earlier. When I'm gonna click that, we're going to click try. Okay, so if you remember earlier, I talked about how this is where you choose your car. Well, here it is. So obviously I own all the different car generations over here. For the normal F1 cars will be here and all your game, all the Game Pass cars that will eventually come into the game are available over here. And if you do have the car, you will see it as so like that, it's viewable. But if you do not have the car, it will be slightly grayed out showing that you don't own the car yet. For this example, we are going to use one of the F1 2023 cars. So we are going to use the Red Bull 2023. Then you click spawn and you'll be taken into the game. So here we are in the game. So I am using a controller and in terms of driving, you can use three types of controls. You can use the controller, obviously, if you have one, you could plug it into the computer or you can use a wireless controller. You can also use keyboard, which is 
probably the most used around here in this game. And then for those fast hardcore players, you can use mouse controls. Mouse controls is activated by pressing the R button and then as soon as you move your mouse, you'll be able to turn. And obviously clicking these buttons, that's for speed stop. As soon as you spawn, you'll be on these medium tires. These tires are glitched, so I recommend that you change your tires anyways. But for hot lapping, the best tires are the soft tires. Obviously, these are the pre-selected tires that you can always change just simply by clicking these icons. We are going to click the red one because I want to use the soft tires. So just drive over it, then your tires will change. And over here, it shows you how long your pit stop will be. So then, as soon as you're done with that, you can go on your outlap. Obviously, to activate the DRS, for me, there's a button on my controller, but if you want to know what that is, I'll probably put it on screen at some point. To activate the DRS, for me, I think on keyboard, it's G, but for me, it is my, the circle button on my PS4 controller. Okay, so to start your lap, as soon as you finish your outlap, all you have to do is cross the line and as you can see, the timer will start running. This means your lap has started. So obviously, you can try and practice and get the fastest lap you can. And then, as soon as you cross the first sector, you will get an indication of that. So, so in this case, we got a purple sector. A purple sector obviously means this is the fastest time anyone has gone around this sector at the moment. This can always change later and for a little bonus feature you can press L to see how other people are doing. So you can see this was the fastest first sector before I set mine. Green means it's, it was their personal best and red which just came now means that they got a track limit. Orange means that it's just it's valid, but it's not your fastest time around this part of the track. As you can see over here on my screen, when you get this pop up on your screen, that means that you have cut a corner and your lap will be invalidated. And that means that you won't be paid, you will only be paid 5,000 pounds, which is the currency of this game. Pound. In terms of money amounts, each tracks pay a different amount depending on how long they are. And this also changes as well depending on the car. The older the car you're driving, the more difficult it is to drive and the more money you are paid. So it's quite, it's quite a complex system. I highly recommend you go and try the cars and see how much the money amounts are. And obviously, it also depends on the time that you get. So. A slow but valid lap is probably around £25,000 on this track, but it's slightly more on a longer track like Baku. Obviously, to jump out of the car, all you have to do is hold spacebar until that bar goes to the end and it'll take you back here. So now we are going to take a quick look at race mode, which is the other option of this game. So once you click race mode, you'll be taken to this screen over here. So as you can see, you have the option to drive, spectate, settings, and however, this is the beginning of a new race. So all you have to do is press drive. And then you'll be taken to this lobby selection. And we have the tracks to choose from. These are always randomized. You also have a timer to do this, so you should hurry up while choosing. So for example, I can choose Silverstone. I can also choose the amount of laps. It seems that choosing five laps is more popular and I would recommend choosing five laps if you're grinding more and 10 laps if you just wanna have some fun. So there you go. But as soon as you choose, you can now change it. Then to choose your car, go to vehicle and all the cars that you own will be available to be selected over here. So for example, let's say I wanna drive the 2016 car and I wanna drive the Williams. Just go over here, you choose a car and you lock in your selection. And there you go. You have until the track load to choose your car. So now I'll be driving the Williams and Silverstone seems to have been the track that has been chosen. Now we are here in qualifying. So in qualifying, you can see there is a timer. You have six minutes to set the fastest lap you can. All the times that are set will be shown in the leaderboard and they will determine the order for this race. And after qualifying ends, you will be shown the grid rundown, like so. You'll see who is on pole position, the other people's times, and if you haven't set your time, like me unfortunately, 
then it will just be shown as blank and you'll just be placed in one of the backward position okay and here we are on the grid so when you begin the race you have the option to choose which compound of tire you'd like to use so in my case i'd like to use this well not the softest tire but the second softest tire the 2016 cars have the most option of tires in the game so some things to note about race mode is that each lap is worth half its lap value however when you complete if you win the race you can win up to 250,000 pounds as a reward so it's definitely worth trying to win a race however you gotta be careful if you extend track limits then you will get a penalty slowdown of around two seconds as you can see there my gear changes to p and then just slows down the car for around two seconds and then re removes the penalty and lets you drive again that's the thing you lose a lot of time to your competitors so this game really wants you to stay within the white lines i think this thing is a bit strict but it's all got so far you can see anyways that's everything you need to know as a beginner on project apex if you have enjoyed this video do make sure to like and subscribe if you are new to this game and this game does interest you i highly recommend you try it the link will be in the description down below and with that out of the way do make sure to enjoy this game it's been zach and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye